name is Trisha Lynn, and doing something a little different today. Um, the trailer for the Marvel Studios Captain Marvel movie came out, and I was going through Facebook, and a friend of mine whom I'd met eons ago while I was still writing comics fanfiction said, I would love to see a react video by someone who's a lady, uh, someone who knows about Captain Marvel, aka Carol Danvers, and someone who is is pretty knowledgeable about comic stuff. Now, I stopped reading Marvel comics back when the Onslaught thing happened. Um, a lot of it was because I wasn't happy about the direction of the um, of the comic books, and the other one is it got to be too expensive. And I haven't really picked them up since then. I have, however, done a lot of watching of all of the almost all of the MCU movies. Um, I did a whole lot of watching of um, uh, many of the Netflix series and maybe the first season or season and a half of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I wouldn't say I'm super knowledgeable about all the characters and everything that's going on, but I think I am more knowledgeable than the average lady, um, uh, average lady geek, maybe? Who knows? Anyways, we are going to go ahead and watch the Captain Marvel trailer. Try the skin. Okay. Falling to Earth. Okay. Ha! That's funny. That's funny because they don't exist anymore. War is a universal language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. No idea what threats are out there. Whoa, we can't do this alone. We need you. Yeah. I'm not what you think I am. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so what can we say about the Captain Marvel trailer? Um, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Um, I like it. The trailer was well cut. Um, it does hint at something going on when it comes to how Carol Danvers got to have the memories of a person living on Earth. Um, I suspect there's something weird about the Captain Marvel I remember the history of. is the one whose superpowers were sucked out by Rogue and then she something else happened along the way and I haven't read the source book so maybe I'm not the best person to be doing a reaction to this but I think that as someone who appreciates female comic book heroes and someone who appreciates women being strong and capable and attractive but also no nonsense like the scenes of her and her um, co-pilot 
walking towards their plane. Awesome. Um, the scenes of the little girl whose memories she has being fearless in many different ways. Also awesome. Um, I have heard something about the whole punching the old lady thing, so I'm not going to comment on that. I think that when it comes to movie trailers, that definitely made me go, ooh, I want to see that. But didn't leave me going, ooh, I want to see that. Maybe it would be that way if I were more of a comic book fan, more of a Captain Marvel fan, because my love was always with the X-Men. And we all know what happened in those movies. They were awesome, and then they got bad. Then they were awesome, and then they got bad again. And it's like really weird to figure out how to really make a good X-Men movie because there's so many of them and their stories are so convoluted. convoluted. Um, I do believe that it's a good move in this direction. I am curious just to see what other galactic things will be happening. The one thing I do appreciate about the trailer is that by showing Nick Fury having both of his eyes uh, unharmed, and the, the the fact that she landed in the middle of a blockbuster video, which almost do not exist anymore, shows that this will take place in the MCU past, possibly in late 90s, which is going to be kind of weird for me because I'm not used to thinking of the 90s as being the past, even though it was about 20 years ago. So, yeah. Anyways, um, so how would I rate this trailer? Yeah, good to see. It's not what I would be screaming oh yes at during the, in the movie theater if I saw it, but it's definitely something that makes me want to makes me want to see the movie. Not sure if I'd make it a first first week um, movie watch. I may end up catching it on Netflix later. Or I may try to rent it from the library later. But I definitely do want to support it. At the same time, though, it didn't have the oh hell yes yes reaction that Black Panther did. And I'm wondering if that's because Captain Marvel's white. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't want to look too deeply into that. I think it, I think it actually is gruesome because I don't know enough about Captain Marvel. So in the end, I am definitely not the best person to have done this kind of spoiler reaction, but at least it's there for you. So this one's for you, Erica. Um, talk to you later. Bye. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain.